Mr. Barcelon, thank you for making time to be on uh, the program. Um, you recently gave a speech at the Rotary Club of Makati uh, where you said that the chamber is cautiously optimistic, but you're waiting to hear some key timing uh, schedules if the, where these plans will be implemented. I know the government is new, uh, but we've heard since then the SONA. What is your assessment now, basically from the little that you heard and what you're seeing on the ground? Well, uh, Kling, you know, what we're seeing, as you said earlier, that uh, I mentioned in my speech no? or in some of the interviews, that uh, we're cautiously optimistic. Uh, uh, and then uh, that, that really applies to this new administration uh, by the mere fact that we see that the president uh, took time out in selecting his cabinet members. And if you notice the economic team, uh, the way it is right now, uh, composed of people that have uh, a track record uh, in their past uh, involvement or role in the government. So uh, that gives us the assurance okay, that uh, you're talking to people who can get who can hit the road running. Mm -hmm. uh, aside from that, uh, the president himself uh, uh, took on the most challenging portfolio, and that's the agriculture, of agriculture, right? And I liken it to uh, somebody who's taking the bull by the horn. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's uh, something that uh, somebody was quipping with me, na, eh, kasi walang gustong tumanggap eh. <laughs> okay? But I said, no, I don't think it's that. I think that uh, from what he has heard and what he has seen, uh, he, he uh, realized that uh, the agri-sector must be addressed. Mm -hmm. Because it addresses, it touches on the, uh, the big portion of our citizenship, mm -hmm. uh, uh, those in the rural areas. Mm -hmm. And uh, based on survey, uh, yung poverty rates, no? ang pinakmataas dito sa rural areas. And many of them are uh, are in the agricultural sectors. So having said that, uh, it's easier said than done, to be honest. Mm -hmm. no? I've heard his pronouncement, uh, which of course uh, we in the business sector are aware that those are needed. Infrastructure, irrigation, uh, uh, post-harvest facilities, harvester, and, and all the likes. No? But it really takes uh, political will also. Yeah, but, but to sum it up, would you say that the chamber is happy with what you've heard so far from the new government? We are, uh, we have a very positive outlook. Okay. Okay. In the sense that, uh, in the sense that uh, we're seeing that the president at the uh, onset realized that he has to tweak the government mm -hmm. to be efficient. Mm -hmm. And he mentioned about the right sizing. Right. And, and of course, that, that's, uh, that's close to our heart. I mean, any businessman, no? <laughs> it's not, uh, nothing is set in stone. I mean, you look at your organization, if you need to reorganize, to uh, uh, restructure it, to add people, to take out people, that's, that's the word for uh, uh, right-sizing. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying that he's just going to take out people, but I'm saying that there are certain agencies that may require right. more people that he put, yeah. uh, people that knowledgeable expertise right. that right. really could help uh, that, that uh, agency that uh, he's, uh, he thinks that uh, requires the additional manpower. Yeah. I don't mean to put words in your mouth, but you seem to be expecting that you're at least hoping that uh, we will see a further easing of doing business in the Philippines. Is, is, is that the correct well, interpretation of what you're saying? Well, you know, that part of ease of doing business. No? Okay. I mean, for, for the longest time. It's about right-sizing. Oh, for the longest time. <laughs> okay. we, yeah. we, we always know that that is uh, very crucial, okay, for our country to, uh, in a way, uh, from top to bottom, no? to lead by example. Mm -hmm. And the president has mentioned that uh, the importance of uh, the information, mm -hmm. okay, uh, to streamline it, so that there would be less human-to-human -human contact. Right. Okay. So, so that that I can see that uh, he 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 knows the importance of uh, uh, the uh, importance of the less bureaucracy. Okay. Okay. And when I say less bureaucracy, it translates to many things. Right. Okay. 
I don't know. I don't want to do. Uh, of course, go into that, could be, no? you make you com more competitive, cut down on cut business down, costs, corruption, many other things. Corruption, yes. All of that are, are, are but into it. You do business all over the world, and you know, yes. in, in Asia in particular, yes. and in the South Southeast Asian region. How, how do you compare us, our situation, with the other places that you seen? Well, we have. Uh, what I see and what I hear, as I'm, I shared with you earlier, that mm -hmm. I'm also the uh, pri uh, one of the uh, business advisory council of business uh, advisory yes. ASEAN, and uh, and um, uh, they seem to have uh, also you know big uh, grandeur projects. Yeah. Uh, but the important thing is the deliverables, the timeline. The timeline. Yes. yes. And this is what uh, I, uh, when I was asked, I said, it's second nature to businessman. When you talk about something you want to do, mm -hmm. uh, you don't just talk about it. Yeah. Immediately, your mind must be set in such a way that you will say, okay, what are the milestones mm. and when can I deliver? Right. You are? So it's one thing to hear it, one thing but to hear you, you want to see it. You want to see it. Yeah. Uh, and people will say, uh, you want 100 days. Oh, I, I, for now, I said, you know, with what confronts us, you know, right. the, uh, the uh, challenges. Uh, 100 days is really nothing. I mean, the people are just getting, you know, his uh, his cabinet members, composed of uh, people that are non-politics. Yeah, many of them are your many friends and associates. Friends, and professional, professional. Yeah. Yes. And they have to fill each other out, and uh, and also get the uh, uh, the mandate from the president and on what are the priorities. Uh, that's why I attended the sauna, honestly. When so when I was asked, I said, it's a very comprehensive mm -hmm. speech that the sauna that the president gave in the sauna. Uh, and he stressed the 19 uh, legislative agenda. Right. So even with that, I also pointed out that uh, uh, I'm sure, because it touches a lot of government agencies, I'm sure the respective agency will do further studies mm. and come up with recommendations. Mm. Okay, again, touching on the timeline and the reverse. Well, the timeline is quite, quite critical, if yes. not interesting, because even in your rotary speech, you're saying, and as you mentioned earlier, the other countries in ASEAN are not Idle. They're also improving. They're trying to compete, right? So, um, what does the Marcos government need to do so that you know they, they they not only satisfy you, but maybe the bigger picture is how to make the country more competitive, as the other countries yes. in the region are yes. also preparing to be more competitive. Yes. Well, the action must uh, go hand in hand. Okay. With our narratives. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, in the sense that uh, you know we we are uh, one item on the power, mm -hmm. We're very well aware that uh, our our uh, backup is quite marginal. Mm -hmm. And uh, lately, you know, last Not to mention two months, ex expensive. Yes, and we were getting a, a yellow alert. It means uh, you know any yeah. any serious uh, maintenance on any of the base load. Yeah, there's going to be brownout. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's one. Uh, but uh, the business sectors in the power, in the power uh, industry, are, they're not standing idle also. We have uh, geothermal power coming that can online be coming online. Yeah. Uh, it's just a question of uh, the immediate uh, action that the government can take. It's fast track the grid link. Okay. Because there are certain areas, the power supply is dead, but well on an uptake. Yeah. So you need the grid link to channel this power that would be available for areas that would be uh, that would need it and of course following up on what you said no? it must be not only available but affordable right okay, so right. that's something that the government must look into uh, although our product uh, our power mix is quite balanced we have renewable we have fossil we have also geothermal uh, but lately of course because of the geopolitical issue in Europe Mm -hmm. uh, the fuel, I mean, fossil fuel, LNG gas has gone up, mm -hmm. uh, but we're beginning to see, you know, some uh, slowdown in the increase, and uh, that definitely would help us. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the energy side of uh, the energy issue is something of a long term. Mm -hmm. And uh, in in my speech, in my uh, advocacy to the government, uh, I, I mentioned the word reach out. Okay, and every letter stands for something. Mm -hmm. Like the letter R 
stands for to reinvigorate our resource-based sector. Mm -hmm. So that means energy. Okay. It means uh, mineral, mining of minerals. It means forestry, water, and the likes. Uh, because these are here with us. We have it. Right, right, right. I mean, we can, we can, uh, we can uh, leverage on it. On the, on the uh, exploration, it's something that uh, we need to do. Uh, and we can do it, as uh, I've read uh, in the paper, because there's been uh, uh, Mr. Rason of uh, ICTSI. Mm -hmm. He has taken uh, over some of the shares of the previous owner. Right. And uh, he mentioned that uh, we should explore the areas around Malampaya. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure there are certain reservoirs that would allow us to extend. Okay? Uh, so those are important areas on resource base that we must, because it Ties it, it ties into our energy needs. Right. Okay. So we're hoping that uh, they would look at it. Of course, you don't expect the results to be right away. No? Mm -hmm. But uh, as long as we're moving in that direction. Mm -hmm. yeah. By the way, um, uh, Malaysia, uh, I just met with the, one of the uh, trade representatives of Malaysia, who stationed in the lady who stationed here in Manila. Okay. And we were discussing it. Uh, she visited PCC office, and we had a nice discussion about, you know, our trade relationship between the two countries. And uh, I, I mentioned that uh, Malaysia is very active in the oil exploration. And she says, yes. And, and they have an um, uh, advantage over us. The power rates are much lower. Mm -hmm. So, and, and, and if people who are in the industry where uh, the power requirement is high, uh, they would gravitate towards a country that has not only available, but affordable power. Yeah. I want to go back to that in a little while. But first, you know, um, I, I just want to ask a little bit more about the interaction that the PCCI has with the government. You said that the PCI, PCCI is ready and you're willing to talk to government and help in whatever way you can. Right. Do, you, do you feel that the government is receptive to that? Or, I know some of these people who have been appointed were also, you know, associates or members of PCCI. Yes. Um, do you feel that your, 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 your assistance is welcome? That, that's what I want to ask. Well, uh, I can vouch for that. Okay. In the sense that... So that's, uh, there's good, good yes, communication we're right reaching now. out. Okay. And uh, it's, 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 it's vice versa, no? Okay. Like, like uh, for example, the Secretary of uh, Labor, okay. Secretary Benny Laguesma. Uh, he has been in the government before, during the previous administration. Uh, but knowing the urgency of what's needed okay, in our country, economic growth. And of course, also taking off from the mandate of what President BBM said, job creation. So uh, he was very kind, he was kind enough to visit our office <laughs> with four of the USEC to be with him. Okay. So we discussed various topics uh, and uh, we express uh, the uh, advocacy for the business sector uh, that uh, we want to sustain sustainability of jobs. No? Mm -hmm. And aside from that, to grow, mm -hmm. uh, where we can provide more jobs. Mm -hmm. And that's very important uh, for any administration, for any uh, country's uh, economic growth. So that is one example. And the other example is that uh, uh, only this morning, uh, me and some of the key officers uh, uh, had a courtesy call with uh, Secretary Jimmy Bautista. The OTR. Yes, the OTR. Yeah. And again, uh, we prioritize uh, the OTR knowing the pressing issue of uh, high cost of logistic. You know, mm -hmm. the traffic, when you have a traffic congestion vis-a-vis -vis that, it's your cost that's high. Right. Especially right. now with the cost of fuel. Right. So right. we were uh, studying how to uh, from the ground, what we see, how can we mitigate uh, the congestions? Uh, and uh, and he was very open about it. And I said that uh, he's a private sector also, mind you, no. But, so he knows, yeah. he understands. He said, uh, and uh, one thing that uh, I admire what uh, Secretary uh, Bautista said. Uh, he said that uh, we're cognizant of the fact no? that there are things that are done. Uh, it's purely from the revenue side. And they would seriously look at whether those uh, MO or whatever compliance should be maintained, okay? Unless uh, they're existent, 
is to provide better service. Mm. And that's very heartening for us to have a secretary of a key department share his thoughts with us. That's good. So I said, well, that's good. And uh, there are uh, uh, the logistics side, transportation side. It's crucial also in the delivery of goods and services, timely. Uh, and uh, and uh, he, we touched on the operations of the airport, yeah. the operations of the port. Uh, so, uh, and uh, uh, it's heartening to know that in the short time that he has been there, he has really looked into some of the issues. And he's reaching out. Yeah, uh, pressing well, issues. I'd like to ask you more about that, but we have to take a quick break. You're watching SMNI. This is Business and Politics. We're talking to Mr. George Barcelona, president of the PCC.